Welcome back to the channel, y'all. In this quick video, we're going to put in the Meguiar's pre-prep wax or hybrid ceramic prep wax versus the Chemical Guys Hydro Slick Finish Cleaner Wax. All right, Slick Finish. Both of these are cleaner waxes. They prep the paint before you put any other kind of protection, sealers, or whatever the case might be. That's what these is for. Now, I got it taped up here. I got the prep wax McGuire's to this side. And we got the chemical guys to this side of the test panel. All right, I got my test panel in here this time. Uh, detailing room, as you can see, I got all my detailing products and stuff lined up and everything. I like to have where all my products is at. So, I let it cure out here on the panel for maybe three to five minutes. So, now each one I've got their own microfiber cloth. So, what I'm going to do... I'm going to buff it off, and then I'm just going to water test this jank and see which one of them will give you better protection if you were to use this as a standalone product. You know, anybody want to just want to polish your car and prep the paint out, but at the same time, both of these got hybrid ceramic protection and the Meguiar's, and the chemical guys got regular wax, carnauba wax protection, I think is in here, if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna go ahead and buff this off. We're gonna start off here with the chemical guys to this side. I'm just gonna buff it on off here. And this is just a test panel hood here that I use to actually test these products on. Y'all know how I do, man. All right, bring it in where I can get some lighting in it here. Cleaning my shop out, got a lot going on out there. I'm actually doing some painting now too, so. I don't really want my test panels to be in there while I'm painting wheel covers and stuff. Having fun painting them wheel covers. All right, so I just bought it in my detailing room here. All right, so we'll rest that to the side. Okay, so we're going to buff off the Meguiar's here to this side. And I will see, see like the Meguiar's is a lighter version of a lighter wax or something here. But when I see, I got a tape here kind of separating out the two products here. Hope you guys can see pretty good. My lightning probably is much better during the daytime, you know. We'll work on that as I go. Try to make the lightning much better and better. But, got to start from somewhere, you know what I'm saying. Um, try to get some content out there that's, <laughs> that's somewhat halfway interesting anyway. Alright, so as you can see, I'm going to feel the slickness. I'm going to get a... Uh, a gloss meter, guys, sometimes we get a gloss meter and I can test all these products. If you guys look for gloss and stuff like that, you know, and that let you know which one of them give you better gloss if that's what you're looking for, especially on dark color cars, you know. Y'all want them cars like that to really pop out there. So, we feel the panel here. Which one feels slicker? Seems like they, you see... I said pretty close on slickness, but if I had to get the edge, seems like chemical guys there, it might be a, just a tad bit slicker. But what's most important when you hit it with water, and that's what I'm looking for, I'm going to water test these janks and see which one of them give you very hydro, the most hydrophobic effects coming from these products. That's what's most important. You know, ain't nothing else. Gloss ain't even that important, really. What's important, how which one I'm going to protect the paint, be the water, get the water off your paint job as fast as possible, keep water spotting and all that stuff, that's what's most important. All right, so first we'll start off with the Chemical Guy Slick Finish. Here we go to this side. Let's hit it. And it's doing a great job at beating water here. All right, as you can see here is the Chemical Guy Slick Finish Cleaner Wax. Doing a good job. Feed him very well. I'm just doing a water test. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do some products, take it through a, a water bucket wash test. Just using clear water several times, clear water, several times, clear water, wipe it down, whatever. Let's see which one I'm starting to fade away. But this is beating very well here. The chemical guys. Slick finish, so let's hit the McGuire side right here. Doing a great job, too. All right, now, doesn't take a lot of water to see which one I'm gonna actually swell and throw that paint off your throw that water off your paint first. Real good. Look at there, guys. The beating action over here. On the hybrid ceramic pre-wax is insane, as you guys can see. 
check that out compared to the chemical guys both of them doing a good job though but i would say i'm looking at the over bees right here compared to the bees over here on the mcguire side man it's a close call i tell you but i had to get an edge up to the mcguires as you can see right here the chemical guys bees is not quite as tight look at there look at there not quite man it's close though but not quite so i had to get the edge up to the mcguires for the beating action slickness seems like it went to the chemical guys slick finish but uh i'm going by the beating action i'm going by what i see here Compared to here. Both is good though. Don't get me wrong. The bees on both sides is pretty decent. But the Maguire's bees just a little tighter as you can see right there. It's a little tighter, man. They, they more uniform as you can see there. Compared to this. Both is great though. Price wise, both are run around 14, 15 bucks. So they round the same price of in a case like this, uh, you have to go by which one I think is better. And I said McGuire's got the edge on this one, but I actually will get both of these. Both of them is great now. Don't get me wrong. So I just want to test them out, see how a little fun with them. So there you go. I'll get the edge to McGuire's, man. Hit that subscribe button, man, for more content. Till next time, I'm out of here. Peace.